Ekaterina Zhuravskaya has long been interested in the economics of media, particularly in times of conflict. In one study, she examined the Israeli-Palestine conflict to see what effect, if any, international media representation had on military tactics. We are looking at the uh, Israeli-Palestinian conflict as just a setting in which we can uh, test whether the uh, actors in the conflict uh, uh, actually care about how their, their actions are portrayed in the media, and if so, whether they choose the timing of their actions strategically at times when there are some other important media events which may divert public attention to them. In particular, we're looking at the uh, U.S. media, and we show that the attacks are more severe, more frequent, and sometimes lead to more uh, casualties at the times when the U.S. media is preoccupied by internal U.S. political events, which have to do with the uh, U.S. political cycle or sports events, and so on and so forth. Basically, what we find is that the Israeli Defense Forces care about uh, uh, the way they are portrayed, and that would be normal for essentially any accountable politician or you know actor to care about their image uh, in the media. If anything, one can think about the findings of this paper as something positive, because we see that media could play a role as a check on uh, a party even in a long-term conflict. And that's, that's essentially not bad at all, because the parties then maybe choose strategically the timing of the attacks to minimize the negative coverage. But the first order effect is that they care, which means that they may not engage in some of the uh, operations which otherwise they would have. We learn from this analysis uh, what kind of media coverage is particularly important for Israeli defense forces and, in that sense, what they find particularly damaging. It's not the information about the statistics of uh, the uh, conflict which matters. What matters is the personal stories. What we see is the confirmation of a uh, sort of very famous phrase that uh, picture uh, is worth a thousand words. What Israel wants to minimize is a story when victims are uh, named by their names. So they are portrayed as humans. And that's uh, basically a very important lesson in, in, in political communication. While this study was the first of its kind, Zhuravskaya points to other anecdotes of military strategically timing attacks to minimize media coverage. She says the biggest takeaway from these results is the importance of the role that media plays in keeping governments accountable around the world. The results of our uh, study strongly suggest that the presence of media in ongoing conflicts uh, uh, helps avoid at least unnecessary uh, human suffering. Parties are aware of the fact that they are being watched. They are uh, more careful about what they are doing. Of course, they are trying to reach their goals in the constraints which they are given, but media, as we see, is an important constraint.